And you carry the oil of baby angel. Can I prophesy? telling someone that he should pray about that man because that man is a husband to a certain lady it's a private it's a private My matter Mina. yeah Mina, yes. Yes. so it's a private matter i love you, I love you more huh? In front of you is Anita Israel. So you even called your prophet Odogu Lion. Can I prophesy? The son of the prophet Sia Calvin. Yes, I am the firstborn of Prophet Hubert Angel.
the, the, the spiritual bulldozer, the, the spiritual air commodore, he is in our midst. He has taken his seat. So we will go back to the stage. They need your clapping. Give it to them. Give it to them. Give it to them. Oh, you can do much better than what you're doing. Now. You didn't give money. Just a clap too. You want, you want to do it. Give it now. Ah, I love you. I love you. Now, take your seat. Take your seat. We welcome you once again to the Transformation Factory. We are taking our first Bible reading. Um, we will call on by Anita and Anna to the stage to read the first Bible reading. Let's welcome them to the stage. to you all and Merry Christmas. Our first lesson will be taken from Genesis chapter 3 verse 8 to 19 and I read except the tree in the middle of it God told us not to eat the fruit of that tree or even touch it. 
If we do, we will die. The snake replied, that's not true. You will not die. God said that because he knows that when you eat it, you will be like God and know what is good and what is bad. The woman saw how beautiful the tree was and how good its fruit would be, would be to eat. And she thought how wonderful it would be to become wise. So she took some of the fruit and ate it. Then she gave some to her husband and he, and he also ate it. As soon as they had eaten it, they were given understanding and realized that they were naked. So they sewed fig leaves together and covered themselves. That, that evening, they heard the Lord God walking in the garden, and they hid from him among the trees. But the Lord God called out to the man, Where are you? He answered, I heard you in the garden. I was afraid and hid from you because I was naked. Who told you that you were naked? God asked, Did you eat the fruit that I told you not to eat? Verse 12, the man answered, The woman you put here with me gave me the fruit, and I ate it. The Lord God asked the woman, Why did you do this? She replied, The snake tricked me into eating it. Then the Lord God said to the snake, You will be punished for this. You alone of all the animals must bear this case. From now on, you will crawl on, you will crawl on your belly, and you will have to eat that as long as you live I will make you I will make you and the woman hate each other the, her offspring and yours will always be enemies her offspring will crush your head and you will bite her offspring heels and he said to the woman I will increase your trouble in pregnancy and your pain in giving birth in spite of this you will still have desire for your husband yet you will be subject to him and he said to the man, You listen to your wife and eat the fruit which I told you not to eat. Because of what you have done, the ground will be under a curse. You will have to work hard all your life to make it produce enough food for you. It will produce wheat and thorns, and you will have to eat wild plants. You will have to work hard and sweat to make the soil produce anything until you go back to the soil from which you were formed. You were made from soil and you will become soil again. Thanks be to God. Amen. Amen. Give it to them. Thank you. Thank you. Our second lesson will be taken by Prophet Stephen. Let's welcome him to the stage. Hallelujah. Good evening to you and Merry Christmas. I would first of all like to thank my father, the Steve Prophet, for this amazing privilege. So I'm reading the second lesson from Genesis chapter 22, from verse 15 to verse 18. The angel of the Lord called to Abraham from heaven a second time and said, I swear by myself, declares the Lord, that because you have done this, and have not withheld your son your only son i will surely bless you and make your descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky and as the sand on the seashore your descendants will take possession of the cities of their enemies and through your offspring all nations on earth will be blessed because you have obeyed me thanks be to god thank you so much for the opportunity amen God bless you, God bless you.
daughter of Zion, may Jehovah who is greatly shout. O daughter of Jerusalem, behold thy king cometh unto thee. Behold thy king cometh unto thee, cometh unto thee. Thank you, thank you, thank you. God bless you for such a wonderful performance. Her name is Lady Cassie. Give it to her once again. All right. We are going to take our third lesson from Isaiah 9, 2, 6, and 7. Read by Sister Anita Na Ashili. Let's give it to her. Good evening and Merry Christmas to you all. Our third lesson will be taken from Isaiah chapter 2, chapter 9, sorry, verse, verse 2, 6 to 7. And it reads, The people walking in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of the shadow of death, a light has dawned. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given. And the government will be on his shoulders. And he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government, and peace there will be no end. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness from that time on and forever. The zeal of the Lord Almighty will accomplish this. Amen. Thanks. Amen. Thank you. 
Thank you. May God bless you for such a word of you. We now invite Pastor Bismarck to read the fourth lesson from Micah 5, 2 to 4. Let's welcome him. Praise the Lord. Much to everybody. Yeah, I take my, uh, my fourth Bible reading from Micah chapter 5, verse 2 to 4. But you, Bethlehem Ephrata, though you are small among the clans of Judah, out of you will come for me one who will be ruler over Israel, whose origins are from old, from ancient times. Therefore Israel will be abandoned until the time when she who is in labor gives birth, and the rest of his brothers return to join the Israelite. He will stand and shepherd his flock in the strength of the Lord, in the majesty of the name of the Lord his God, and they will live securely, for then his greatness will reach to the ends of the earth. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you, Pastor Bismarck, for the reading. Thank you. God bless you. We then go back to pick another performance from Lady Cassie. A song titled, If God Be For Us, Who Can Be Against Us? Let's welcome Lady Cassie to the stage. Appellations of Prophet K.B. Immanuel King, in honor of your awaiting award tomorrow as a state seer, a year ago, you were awarded by the state as the state prophet of the year 2022. Today, as the sages returned, you have been elected again as a state seer category for the year 2023. Thank you. Yes, sir. A broken iron plate can only be replaced with iron. A brain pawn, a katechie, bury my onion yam for the eyes of the most high God, the fatherless and motherless father, the fire of hope for our great nation and beyond. Who indeed shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect? It is God that justifieth, and who is he that condemneth? Romans 8.33 Prophet K.B. Mano King, it's you who deserves the honor, alas, and crowned to rule as the state prophet and seer. It is therefore no wonder that I chant your accolades. King, may your arrival tomorrow as a state seer be a national landmark. May this award mark the soaring height of your greatness. If God be for you, who can be against you? Romans 8:31. I crave for you God's blessings. We say congratulations in advance on behalf of your wife and children, mother, family, loved ones, and the entire congregation in and out of Ghana. We love you, our state prophet and state seer. Thank you. Written by Lady Cassie. <laughs> Yes, ladies and gentlemen, 
we can see our popular honorable the prophet who can see in reality whatever he has has been recognized with a Texian award for his event and for honor devotion to the work of God his followers and the world at large this has made me one of the world's most influential persons who is a terrorist personality on both So I need you a benefit this award to all joint leaders, especially those who are in the body of Christ and uh, in the prophetic ministry as well. The Bible says that a prophet's deed by us indeed, and by the same prophets, the Bible is written, while we promise that the society in prophetic ministry now be about to swore I am to another level. That was the time. And I do the good to my mom as well and my wife as well. Amen. The achievements we celebrate today are not just accomplishments of a select few. They are they represent the potential within each and every one of you or of us. They remind us of the height we can reach, the impact we can make, and the legacy we can leave Oh, oh, oh. 
Oh, you can do it better you can do it better her name is lady cassie this voice is not for banku and Konkonte. it is no give it to her once again we are taking a fifth lesson from matthew 1 18 to 23 read by sister juliana let's welcome her to the stage good evening and merry christmas to you all our fifth lesson is taken from Matthew chapter 1, verse 18 to 23. Matthew chapter 1, verse 18 to 23. Let us hear the word of God. This is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. His mother Mary was pledged to be married to Joseph. But before they came together, she was found to be with child through the Holy Spirit. Because Joseph, her husband, was a righteous man and did not want to expose her to public disgrace, he had in mind to divorce her quietly. But after he had considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet. The virgin will be with child and will give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. Thanks be to God. Amen. We thank you too. Thank you. Our sixth lesson will also be taken from Luke chapter 2, 1 to 7, to be read by Juliet and Harriet. If they are here, let's welcome them to the stage. Good evening to you all, and Merry Christmas. Our sixth lesson is taken from the book of Luke, chapter 2, verse 1 to 7, and I read, At that time, Emperor Augustus ordered, ordered a census to be taken throughout the Roman Empire. When this first census took place, Quenos was the governor of Syria. Everyone then went to register himself to each went to register himself to each in his own hometown. Joseph went from the hometown of Nazareth in Galilee to the town of Bethlehem in Judea, the place the birthplace of the king David. Joseph went there because he was a descendant of David. He went to register with Mary, whom was promised in marriage to him. She was pregnant, and whilst they were in Bethlehem, 
the time came for her to have her baby. She gave birth to her son, wrapped him in a cloth, and laid him in a manger. There was a room. There was no room for them to lay, to stay in. Thanks be to God. Amen. Thank you too for such a wonderful reading. Another performance will be taking from our lady, Lady Cassie. Lady Cassie and Legon choreography team. Song title, He Shall Feed His Flock Like a Shepherd. Thank you. Thank you. 
better than what you're doing now. Thank you, Lady Cassie and the Legon Choreography team for such a wonderful performance. Give it to them once again. We will take our seventh lesson from John 1, 1 to 14, read by Evelyn Tete. Let's welcome her to the stage. to you all and a Merry Christmas. Our seventh Bible reading shall be taken from the book according to John chapter 1, verses 1 to 14. Let's hear the word of God. And it's titled, The Word of God. In the beginning, the word already existed. The word was with God, and the word was God. From the beginning, the word was with God. Through him, God made all things. Not one thing in all creation was made without him. The word was the source of life, and this life brought light to humanity. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has never put it out. God sent his messenger, a man named John, who came to tell people about the light, so that all should hear the message and believe. He himself was not the light. He came to tell about the light. This was the real light the light that comes into the world and shines on everyone. The word, was in, the word was in the world, and though God made the world through him, yet the world did not recognize him. He came to his own country, but his own people did not receive him. Some, however, did receive him and believed in him, so he gave them the right to become God's children. They did not become God's children by natural means, that is, by being born as the children of a human father. God himself was their father. The word became a human being, full of grace and truth, lived amongst us. We saw his glory, the glory which he received as the father's only son. I take the 14 again. The word became a human being and full of grace and truth, lived amongst us. We saw his glory, the glory which he received as the father's only son. Thanks be to God. Amen. God bless you for the reading. Thank you. Thank you. Um, the eighth lesson will be taken from Matthew 2, 1 to 12, read by Agnes Addo. Let's welcome her to the stage. Good evening and Merry Christmas to you all. Our eighth lesson will be taken from Matthew 2, 1 to 12. After Jesus was born into Bethlehem in, in Judea, during the time of King Herod, Maggie from East came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who has been born king of the Jews? We saw his star in the east and have come to worship him. When King Herod heard this, he was disturbed. 
and all Jerusalem with him, when he had called together all the people's chief priests and teachers of the law, he asked them where the Christ was to be born. In Bethlehem, in Judea, they replied, for this is what the prophet has written, but you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, for out of you will come a ruler who will be the shepherd of my people, Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and found out from them the exact time the star had appeared. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and make careful search for a child. As soon as you find him, report to me, so that I, I too may go and worship him. After they had heard the king, they went on their way, and the star they had seen in the east went ahead of them in, until it stopped. Over the place where the child was, when they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother, Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold and incense and a maid. And having been warned in a dream not to go back to Herod, they returned to their, they returned to their country by another route. Thanks be to God. Amen. That's a wonderful reading by Ado. Thank you. Our last lesson reading will be taken by our mama in the house, Beatrice Elikem, the associate pastor of Transformation Factory, Beatrice Elikem. Give it to her. That is the associate pastor. The associate pastor. Chief Security, hold her well for us, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mama one, carry on, General. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, the State Prophet, for such such honor. I'm grateful. The ninth lesson is taken from Luke chapter two, verse eight to twenty, and I read, and there were shepherds living out in the fold nearby keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy. That will be for all the people. Today in the town of David, the Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in a cloth and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to men on whom his favor rests. When the angels had left them and gone, and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see those things that had, been, that had happened, which the Lord had told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in a manger. When they had seen him, they spread the, the word concerning what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured up all those things and pounded, and pounded them in her heart. The shepherd returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. Thanks be to God. Amen. Amen. Her name is Mrs. Beatrice Elikem, the associate pastor for oh, the transformation factory. Now, we are going back once again to call on Lady Cassie and Legon Choreography team to give us one song titled, Oh Holy Nine. Thank you. Shining in 
Savior's path Long lay the world Is in a narrow pony Till he appeared And the soul felt its worth A three
behold a virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel God with us For such a wonderful performance. Oh, Bon Sam Kesseban on Wayati. Hey! You carry the oil of baby angel. Come on, Professor. Let me dance, I'm gonna cut up. 
Alente feli mini talaba hatasa Lefele kose Nima na na masha na mi hatasa Daba ikalaba kose Refele konte feli mini talaba Mali wano wano maha na maya Neme kumele mosha na nemi hata Re konte feli itasa Daba ya kataya Alefele konte seneme Imante feli wakataya Zede fele kose kapa Afele te seneme You were even telling someone that he should pray about that man because that man is a husband to a certain lady. It's a private. It's a private My matter. Mina. Yeah. Mina, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a private matter. I love you, I love you more. Huh? in front of you is Anita Ishrabunji. So you even called your prophet Odogu Lion. Can I prophesy? The son of the prophet here, Calvin. Yes, I am the firstborn of prophet Hubert Angel. 